Hello everyone. Vincent de Paul was born in 1581 in France. At the exceptionally young age of 19, he was ordained a priest in 1600, subsequently attending the University of Toulouse. In 1605, while travelling by sea, he was captured by Turkish Mohammedan pirates and taken into slavery. He spent two and a half years as a slave, finally escaping in 1607 with the help of his owner, whom he had converted to Christianity. Vincent decided to devote his life to charitable work and he was appointed a parish priest of Clichy, a suburb of Paris. But only after two years there, he was asked to be chaplain and teacher to the household of the Count of Gandhi. Now, since the Count was in charge of ships, Vincent got an opportunity to see the plight of the galley slaves. He sought to relieve their terrible conditions by offering them not just material assistance, but spiritual as well. He actually ransomed over 1,200 galley slaves from North Africa. Back in Paris, after leaving the Gandhi family, he established confraternities of men and women working to bring charity to the poor and to care for the vast numbers of sick in the city. His chief source of charitable donations and concerns came from wealthy noble women who provided funds for the creation of hospitals and homes for the orphan and foundling children. These became known as the Ladies of Charity. A practical man, Vincent's work went practically unnoticed by the wealthy who chose to ignore the problems of the time and even the poor themselves who didn't appreciate what he was doing for them. To advance his efforts even further, Vincent founded in Paris in 1625 the Congregation of the Missions called the Lazarites or later Vincentians, a society of priests with the express task of missionary labour and training the clergy. He was very zealous in conducting retreats for clergy at a time when there was a great laxity, abuse and indeed ignorance among them. St Vincent's Sheffield, the parish you are in now, was the first English foundation they came here from Ireland in 1853 and in 1633 with the remarkable St. Louis de Marillac he also established the Daughters or Sisters of Charity, the first congregation of women caring for the sick and poor outside the confines of the convent. He said that their convent is the sick room, their chapel is the parish church, their cloister is the streets of the city. Vincent also organised relief efforts for the many unfortunate victims injured and wounded in wars which France was involved in around the middle of the 17th century. Vincent was a bitter opponent of the heresy called Jansenism which was rampant in France at the time. Jansenism was Calvinistic in tone which taught that only certain people could be saved. Vincent died in Paris on September the 27th, 1660, at the age of 80, and he was canonised a saint by Pope Clement XIII in 1737. Most remarkably, Vincent was by temperament, temperament a very short-tempered person, actually. Even his friends admitted it. He said that except for the grace of God, he would have been hard and repulsive, rough, and cross, but he became a tender and affectionate man, very sensitive to the needs of others. Pope Leo the Thirteenth made him the patron of all charitable societies. Outstanding among these, of course, is the Society of Saint Vincent de Paul, founded in 1833 by his admirer, Blessed Frederick Ozenham. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Now thank you all very much for listening. God bless you all.